Migo versus Zhao. Zombie cow is about to go down, but he did some damage, or she did some damage. Migo. Took some pretty good hits. Alright, go through the woods here. Hopefully that's the last of Migos. Ah, oh, crap. Stupid driving skill. Off with you. You useless focus sucker. Whoops. <laughs> hey, riot control platform shooting zombies. Uh, first aid kits, wallets. Oh, that's worth it. We can easily go around. Let us exercise our our option to go around. Is it right control platform at both ends? It is. All right. Don't care. Oh, that I care about. That's one of the good vehicles to find out in the middle of nowhere. I think it's diesel. Not sure if it's diesel. Get close enough to uh, siphon if we need to, or we can. Underlift tow truck, no gas. Mainly, I want the uh, boom crane. I'm just going to rip the boom crane off. Oh, wait. I don't have the skill, do I? I do not have the skill to rip off the boom crane. We need mech 3. Damn it. Or I need to smash that frame and have it drop off. <laughs> What's going to be? Flares and rope? Yep. I don't even have mechanics one. Alright, we'll remember the position. Depending on what we find at this other dairy farm. We might spend the day there, read under the hood, get the skill I need. That way we can come back and grab a few things of importance. Zombie dog. Six liters V. Here's my kitchen unit. Hmm. Uh. Do the same thing. Remember the position. I can't do much without the mechanical skill. And I don't really need the gas right now. Alright, what's in the field? Again, we got no van. Jeez, nothing but the bike again. No quad bike, no van. Usually there might be a quad bike here. There's usually the possibility of a van right in this area. A wind scale. Thanks for the resub. It looks like it's all cows this time, so at least we got that. So we might be able to spend a little bit of time here. Uh, I don't have a 
crowbar of any kind? I thought I had made a makeshift crowbar. Mm -hmm, no problem. Go into the bathroom and then just close the door. A full hammer instead of uh Oops, I don't have a makeshift. I don't have a hammer either. Alright, give me that. Tongs Butter That's pretty much it. <laughs> that's really all that's left here. Uh, so it's just a question, do I want to hang out here for a bit? It's not really any benefit to doing so. Uh, as opposed to just staying in the van. Um, I don't have... Oh, that's what I forgot. I didn't bring a blanket and a pillow. So... Oh, wait, that's the terrible blanket. That's the terrible blanket. I don't want that stupid thing. By terrible, I mean very, very bulky. <laughs> Yay, regular blanket. 15 liters also? Uh, it was less than that for a regular blanket. Hmm. Oh, pillow. <laughs> Fine. So we have our blanket. Um, again, I need to uh, remove this or put a doorway here so I can get to the back area without having to go all the way around the outside. But I think before we do that, let's, uh, let's take a quick break. So it's about time for me to go take my midstream break. Let me do that. I'll be back to continue the fun here in just a few. Okay, I am back to move some things around. <laughs> I didn't just flub the hack on the barracks. I flubbed the hack on both barracks and the mutagen vault and like one or two other things. I failed every single computer check in that lab. <laughs> with six computer skill and 12 intelligence. <laughs> it was just a cascade of fail. <clears throat> good times, good times. All right, we left it in an easy condition for us to return to once I get a few things. Uh, I need to do, I need to check something real quick. One second. Uh, oops, on that one. All right, reminding myself what I need for a few things. <clears throat> I did manage to hack the Mac console, yes. We did succeed at the easiest hack <laughs> in the entire game. Hey, zombie dog, I see you followed me back up here, buddy. Ah, E. You already got your goods, though. Okay, so, do we stay... Uh, we're not tired. Just after midnight. I now need to... Well, do I need to flip my day-night cycle again? What do we actually need to do? I would like to get to the mutating part as quickly as possible. Uh, the goal is to accumulate the muta mutation materials. I gotta get my applied science skill up. So I need to finish one more level of computers. That'll get me to eight. Then... I want to get at least a couple levels of mechanics 
So we'll probably max out, um, or not max out, but we'll probably read under the hood to get to Mechanics 3. That'll get me the basics of the vehicle, that uh, our vehicle skill that we need for taking stuff off of vehicles. Um, I'm hoping not to spend a bunch of time on vehicle modding or, or crafting on this run. Maybe this vehicle will work, maybe it won't, we'll see. Um, I don't need any special materials for mouse and rat mutation mutagens. Um, some of the fancy stuff, you need all sorts of weird materials. These, I just need base mutagen. So we just need tons of bleach, tons of ammonia. Um, and then the blob globs, which we grabbed a, a fair number of. But ideally, if we can locate a blind pit, that'll give me enough at uh, one go that we'll be able to make all the stuff we need. Um, chemistry set would be good. We've got a chemistry set, I believe, back in the back. And a... Uh, an autoclave that I'll probably never use. We don't yet have any guns except for the laser rifle, which uh, we got out without having to use again, so we've still got quite a few shots available for it. Um, not interested... I'd kind of like to see how things look in the daylight. Do an initial survey in the daylight of driving around. I'm not sure. We got lots of directions we can go, so we're not locked in anywhere. <clears throat> so. What to do? I could just grab my lamp and sit in the back. Oh, it's a light. Oh, my greeting. There we go. Atomic reading lights. Under the hood. So we don't have much we can work on currently. Mechanics to three. Computers to eight. And more fab or more electronics. Um, oh, crap. I don't have a low-level applied science book. I don't have a low-level applied science book. I need to get to applied science three. Yeah, we don't have a low-level applied science book, so I can't actually start working on that quite yet. All right. <laughs> Finally mined your first copper node in a vintage story. <laughs> That's a, that's a benchmark achievement. It's pretty important. That should be plenty to get you the, uh, the iron, uh, anvil. Or, I'm not the iron anvil, the copper anvil. Then you can get the copper saw, and you're, you're golden. <laughs> Alright, so, do we just want to read for a bit? Throw, um, well, I didn't make any makeshift bandages before we took off either. Should have done another batch of those. Can't easily craft back here. Not dropping stuff all over the place. Um. Yeah, let's just read for now. Let's go ahead and finish up computers first thing. Damn cows. <laughs> Make me put my earplugs in just to finish reading a book. We're going to finish it. 86, 91. At least time's moving a lot faster now that we're out of the research facility. So it doesn't take nearly as much real world time for us to get stuff done. Uh, ditch that. Ditch that. Two hundred seventy-two slime globs. Not enough. Let's have everything else has got a long-lasting time frame, so it doesn't really matter what we eat at this point. We'll have uh, an orange and some pork sticks. That's my weight. Oh my god, we're down to normal weight. 
No! Oh well. I guess I'll just keep the reading light with me. Am I gonna milk some cows? I'm absolutely not gonna milk some cows. That little dog is gonna try to break through and go kill the cows. Um, I'm not going to try to climb onto the roof. We'll wait till we find a silo to get a better map. Let's go down the road a little bit. Just kind of see what our options are. Nice body sight, soldier body sight would be great. Um, go this way first. Sugar house. I don't really need anything at a sugar house. We'll leave it alone. Yeah, Vintage Story is still very much early access. They got a ways to go. They got a really good engine, graphics engine for the game, and a lot of the basic structure in place, but it uh, it's in need of some content. Little orchard, also fairly useless. Cargo truck. Yeah, Steve. Hmm. I'm tempted to roll back north. I don't want to. I don't want to get too far away from the. Um, the research facility. Ideally, I'd like to go back and finish looting, and also get like a 60-liter tank full of that bleach. Drag that up top. So we're not going to go too far out of the way here, in particular direction, before I circle back. Nice if we could find another, another town or something. You at least have a uh, silo. Got a bunch of zombies. Oh, it's this this farm. Uh. Zombies are mostly going to be chasing the ants up there. They should mostly ignore me while I check out the house. Raincoat. I do need one eventually if we ever... Well, I got to think long and hard about what kind of gear we're going to use. Because as soon as I start hitting the mutations, we're going to get tiny. And um, we're not going to be able to carry much. So trying to wear like... Survivor gear is going to be a tough proposition because of our, our weight and carry limits. So. Thermal electric outfit. Poor fit. We'll grab one of those. Just in case. I've already got, I think, a couple of soldering irons. Grab a pillow. Um, I think I'm going to avoid collecting leather. What you got for me? Not what I was hoping for. Duct tape. 
Take a wood saw. We'll take the torch. So we've got an acetylene torch. We could actually torch our way into the barracks. We got a torch and we got two tanks. It's a large tank and a small tank. So we could get back in there. So I have to think about that. Tequila. <laughs> A necromancer. That's a friendly group up there coming out of the barn. Sorry, animals. You're on your own. All right, how much further do I want to go? Go just a little bit further down this roadway. If it doesn't curve back north, I'll have to uh, loop back around, I think. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, how easy do I want to make my run? <laughs> uh... Good old military base. Order runners out front, huh? And we got forests on the east side of it as well. <laughs> but it's it's a lot tougher now, right? Now it's not just free end game everything for Vorm. It's 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 harder now, right? They've actually put some difficulty in it compensate for giving you like every weapon and all the tools and all the books and all the clothes and all the medicine and you know all the stuff it's harder I haven't heard of any changes to it I think it's still way 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 too easy it's on my no-no list as mentioned in chat I'm not gonna go in there so too easy Way, way too easy. So, we're going back north. Um, the, I still haven't gotten my mechanic skill to grab stuff out of there. We could stop and just take the time to get the mechanic skill. I'm just not sure I need those things. Well, now I need to find a chemistry station. I'd rather get the chemistry station instead of the uh, kitchen unit. So we'll keep looking. We'll wait till we find uh, a Breaking Bad van. Good old Walter White van. Yeah, we'll just drive through the, uh, the plains here. Open for body sights. Turrets. They're likely out of ammo and such. Mm, so it begs the question, do I go back to the research facility? I definitely am not going back there in the daylight. I could head up, hit one of these silos so we can get a view of the area out this direction. Or head over to the east and see if we can scout out some more of that town. What do you think? I don't think I need the cabin for anything. Yeah, let's go head over to the... 
Ah, soldier ants. Oh, that's right, the animals just... Raiders. Uh oh. A little tiny helicopter. In a single item. That back cargo space. Can't quite see into that. Weird. No guns. No gas that I could use here. seeing so we're on day day nine essentially I've got evolution cranked up evolution speed so we're at a 1.0 multiplier meaning essentially four times faster evolution so time going by is not my friend um, I don't think it's long enough yet that we should see a horrendous amount of really powerful stuff This looks like a spot we might be able to hop in and grab some freebies. Oh crap. <laughs> I shouldn't have shouldn't have backed up. <laughs> Damn it. Now that zombies. I think that zombie spotted me anyway. Now he's coming to get me because of the noise. One zombie. Let one zombie chase me into the house. Hmm. Headgear, light gloves, hockey mask, and he's got it barricaded. Um. Yeah, let's not mess. Could have climbed in the window. Got the tongs. More bleach and ammonia. We'll grab ammonia. I'm going to rely on getting into the lab to get the bleach. Save myself some space. Cheese. Um, don't need any of that. Oh. Cooking oil. Red. Multivitamin. Get spotted possibly through that window. Locked door, huh? try to be pretty cautious. Oops. Hey, zombies. Come get me. Come get me. Sprint! Hunters pupating. Still nothing too concerning. Bungle! Bungle! <laughs> Lovely. Do 
Good old fungal flowers. Oh, there's the church. I want to get to the top of the church. Oh, please tell me I can get to the top of the church. I don't have, uh, nah, too many zombies. I don't have a binoculars or a telescope yet. Getting to the top of the church would be nice. Not gonna happen, though. Still just pretty much solid residential. Slavering biter. You painting zombie making a mess. Shack zombies, technicians, back of runners. Looks like we definitely have a an over map border <laughs> with as straight as this uh, city edge is. Finally, we turn the corner. Maybe. It's a big city. Got it on default world settings for city size and spacing. Incandescent husk. There's an upgrade for you. Kill all those zombies. And kill all those techs. Poor techs. Everybody run up and hug the incandescent husk. Another spot where I could almost run in and Wow. This has got to be multiple cities mashed together. Shocker brute. And it continues. <laughs> I can't find an eastern edge to this damn thing. Maybe maybe this is the end of one city and the beginning of a second city. <laughs> maybe that's what's going on here. We keep going east, and then further east, and then further east. Oh, did we finally hit an edge? A bowling alley, huh? I didn't see any too, any buildings that I was too excited about. And, of course, it's going to block me from going further north. Uh, riot control for both. Yes. Big deal there. Ow! <laughs> As I get shot. <laughs> uh, that damn beanbag rounds. How did the beanbag round cut me? <laughs> uh. The cut protection, cut damage on beanbag rounds. I'm gonna try to peek up here and see if there is a uh, way through between these two cities. Um, I'm tempted, but this could get ugly. It turns out to be just a big city with like a cul-de-sac in the middle. Oh, there's the bone seer. <laughs> That's what I need. I need to get the bone seer NPC on my side. Then I can have the bone seer kill everything in the city. Forget what the quest is. Bones or something for the bone seer. Uh, I'm still looking at uh, just a big old pile of city. I think it is. 
Ow. I think it is just a big cul-de-sac. Yep. I have to drive back out again. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, quite the place. Wasn't expecting anything nearly this big. Well, there it is. That's what I need. Mobile meth lab. A Walter White van. Onboard chemistry lab. No way am I getting it out of there. Uh, can I find a line through here that doesn't make me ram a bunch of things? Just barely. Hey, look, a portable generator. Didn't notice that when I went by the first time. Portable Jenny. Yeah, that's quite the city. I think it's a mashup of multiple cities. At least two. This is definitely going to have its own name over here. I just didn't quite, I think, get far enough or close enough to get the nameplate to show up. Unfortunately, 90% of what I uncovered is residential. Not really what I'm looking for. Looks like all of... Oh, wasp. Wasp house. Go get them, wasps. How many zombies can you kill before you go down? Yeah, so we got a few problems because I didn't really uncover anything that would make it worth my while to try to get to the interior. The commercial stuff's going to be all up in here. And there's no other way for me to get to it. It looks like there's probably going to be forest bordering the whole northern side. So it's going to be really tough for me to actually see <laughs> inside. If I could get to the church steeple at the top of the church, especially with binoculars, it's way high in the air. And uh, you could get a good view around. But uh, the chance I can do that in the daylight is not great. There's not too many zombies out here in the back. So it's possible I could do it. Lost one of my wing, my uh, mirrors. could pull these local zombies down to the fungal just to get them out of the way so I wouldn't have to deal with them and see if I can make a run into the uh, church Refugee Center. All the fun stuff's over here. We got the Refugee Center, we got a military base, we got a pretty big city. Uh oh, we have Worm Sign. God, coming in. These guys are super, well, not super slow, but uh, I'd really, really like to get to the top of this, this church.
right here, zombies. Come on, you can see me. I'm gonna give them a, a look at me through the window so they'd know where I was and come this direction. Try to loop them in there. Group over there is going to be able to see me. I think I'm going to go for it. There's, 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 and is that it? I thought it went higher than that. Well, oh, guess that's it. Not the one I was thinking of. It should still get me a decent view. Mm, it's all residential. Ugh. Hunting supply store. That's pretty important. Like downtown is right over here. Still not quite close enough without binoculars or a telescope. Football field. Couple mil surplus. A bookstore. Hunting supply store. Construction site. Garage. That wasn't as tall as one of them I've seen, so there must be different designs. But, didn't cost us anything. Shock zombie. Mm, it's possible I could squeak through like right here to get up into this gap but I, I think the forest is going to keep me tightly confined and with that limited amount of maneuvering room I'd be kind of nervous can't really afford to pick up any hitchhikers in that kind of an environment so I think we're probably going to end up going Back this way, hit uh, silos and check these, depending on what we see. We might get pulled further east, but then uh, possibly follow the road out here, see if this opens up and comes back down to the top side of this, this city area. It's possible the forest stops and I can get access to it. As it stands now, though, this is just pretty much all residential. It's a small chance I could get stuff I need or want, but I'm not going to risk it right now. Let's head back out. Back into ant territory. Super soldier ant. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Still pretty tempted to head back in here with the acetylene torch and take out the doors. Zombie necro boomer. Yeah, let's finish the investigations first. Lost some visual range because of the uh, the rain. It looks like. Me go pack. Burial sites.
might still be in range of Migos. A little nervous. Really need to get me some binoculars. This really didn't show much. <laughs> we just don't have the visual range yet. Farms, farms, more farms. A nice radio tower with a telescope on it. That's what we're looking for. One of the things we're looking for. Uh-oh. There we go. Soldier sight with Amigo and a bunch of soldiers. All right. We have guns, and there's a machine gun. There's a machine gun. So we have a gun, and we might have ammo. There's an M249 with an M4 sitting next to it. Oh, and another M249. That's an awesome combo. That guarantees us a rifle, and uh, one of these M249 is going to have some bullets. Uh, Miko is not going to be able to kill that many soldiers. Yeah, he's already kind of on the run. I would love to get some grenades and MREs and all that kind of stuff. First, though, while the soldiers are chasing the Migo, we will hop out. There's 41 rounds, 19 already loaded. Not load. And 112. Cool. Oops. Did die. Oh, crap, I left the other one on the ground. Cool. Reload. Hey now. That gives us some options. Now we can use the gun to chase down. <laughs> Let's see. They, they went different directions. How far did they get? I don't want to deal with a caustic soldier. He could cause me problem. Trenching tool, MRE. So. Whoops. <laughs> that didn't go so good. I thought I had uh, told it to stop moving. still running. I got, what, three soldiers coming my way? I should be able to handle that. Now we're zeroed out. Let go of the controls. Oh, yes.
No grenades, huh? Follow the trail of blood. Let's see. Run the Mego over. Get him out of the way. Broke something. <laughs> That's not good. That's really not good. Damn. Well, that means things can get into my vehicle now. Wasn't expecting that. Hmm. Come on, you guys. The hell? Why are the... Uh, they're all some. That's why. Hmm. A grenade, finally. Ah. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed that I ran that Mego over and we busted out the, the board on that side. That's not good. One grenade out of all of these guys. That's a pretty poor return for all of the ammo we blew. 